What's up, guys? Toby508. Been missing for a while. Uh, I don't know. I broke my leg. Or I broke the bones below the knee there, the tip fib, whatever. Had to have surgery and it whooped my butt, to be honest with you. I thought it would be a little easier than it was. But today we're going to shoot a little 5 inch fatty. I call it a fatty, but a little thicker than normal. Uh, this one is with. Uh, was made by Driven. Driven. Damn glare. I think it's Driven CNC. It's my 5 inch flat worm. Or fat worm. We're going to shoot it. For you. I am messing up so bad. I haven't made baits in a month, so I am behind big time. Big time. But. That's the way it goes, you know. But anyway, I got one of these. He knows I've been out, so no big hurry. No big hurry. Get my injector. Oh, we'll be using a just a single injector because we are making earthworm. See that little purple sheen on it there? Just a beautiful color. There's my little, you can see it, my little engraving of 5-0 there. Uh, I've been shooting them in a couple different sizes. This is my the five inch fat worm. I just told you about say fat. It's fatter than your normal trick worm. Uh, and also shooting it in the four and a half little round worm. Been great on a little drop shot. Uh, one guy Ned fishes them a lot. Great little worm. Great color. Fish catching color. Uh, just real natural. That's what he wants. No flake. No nothing. He just wanted to close to an earthworm color. So what we're using is I've already shot some so I'm actually remelting this color. Um, we started off with a cup of plastic and I wanted to make sure that I had it right or to my liking. Uh, we're using MF colorants today because I love MF colorants but they are thin. Well I say thin. They're uh, a little more translucent. So to get the color I wanted we started off with why is there so much glare, man? I've got the window open, of course, because I have to vent. But this is Red Earthworm by MF. We used 45 drops for just over a cup of plastic. Spiked it with about eight drops of brown. And also, to darken it up, because it's real translucent. I didn't want it translucent all the way. A uh, couple drops of black. Two drops was all. You don't want to go much more on your black. And uh, what it does, it's not as translucent when you add them solid colors into it. And uh, But you still get the sheen from the red earthworm color. It has like a highlight in it. Uh, some purples and some red. It's just a great color. Great natural color. Um, not one of my favorites, but... Well, I don't say I haven't fished it, but... I have a guy that that's what he wants, man. He, he loves the earthworm color and he fishes it and likes it so that's what we're going with so we're remelting what I've already had made up um, as you can see it's not real thick but the size of your bait will depend on if it's transparent or if it's uh, too thin or thick whatever uh, the bigger your bait the more solid color wise it'll look, the smaller your bait, it'll be more translucent. I guess just because there's more material in your bigger baits. So that's why I want to make sure I shot these first, just to make sure we get the color the way we want it. First time. First time's a charm. I don't know if you see anything behind it, but it's very, very, very translucent. I may also do a little short and uh, take them outside and see if, you know, the natural light is so much better than indoor light. And, it makes them look good. So we'll probably do a short as well. So if you're here, man, like and subscribe for me. Tomorrow, like I said, I'm just, I'm getting caught up on baits. Tomorrow, I gotta make some uh, core shot nids. So I plan on doing a video tomorrow of making the core shots. Um, not much different to it. I'll show you. We'll put rods in there and inside the mold. Blah, blah, blah. But we'll do that tomorrow probably and post the video within a day or two. 
of the core shot baits. Uh, got a color, it's like emerald green on the outside, real light, but still pretty green, bright green, and then uh, we'll shoot it with a very bright, very bright red with a red flake, just to make it pop on the inside of that core shot. But for today, red earthworm. That's the color we're using. That's what we're gonna shoot. Sorry, I can't move anything right now. I'm, uh, I'm limited on how, how I can move. I would move this thing and show you the colors better, but I'm just really, really limited on my mobility right now and space. So, because as you can tell, I do uh, my baits in here. I paint, that's my little paint area back there. But, oh, I'd love to show you how this is looking in here, though. Let's turn it over, see what it does. Let's try this like that. Oh, yeah. You can see it's got like a highlight powder in it. I don't know exactly what is in it. Focus. There we go. But just a beautiful color. And you can tell it's not real thick. Not real, you know, still translucent. So, that's what we're looking for. A little translucent, but not... We really want it thick. I would have it down, but I have my molds in my little hole down here and it's hard to get it down. You can see my little crutch right there. And thanks to my friends, this little crutch caddy has been freaking awesome. I fit drinks in there, my nicotine, you know, is what it is. But everything I need in there, great friends, man. So we're gonna suck this plastic up. Make sure we get the air out of our injector. We'll stick it in this injection hole in the mold and give it a little even push and we're gonna hold it then. Uh, we're not pushing, we're just holding it. Uh, if you push too much, you're gonna get uh, what's called flashing. I may flash these, I don't know, but I'll show you what it is. But just hold a little pressure, that helps that. And then we, of course, have to top off the screw because we don't wanna suck in air. We've talked about that before, so. Anyway, air is bad for baits. So in your injector, always keep checking on your O-rings. O-rings will let, they get real warm, they'll let air slip through, or the plastic will slip around the injector. The cylinder inside, I guess I could take it apart and show you what I'm talking about, huh? But it's got hot plastic in it, we'll let it set up, and I'll show you before I get done with this little video. Um, I always like to top it off. You see that? Or you inject that, you see it start sucking down, take your cup with your plastic and fill it up. Because if not, it's going to pull air in and into the heads of the baits. And you don't want that. So, tip number one of the day. If you don't make baits. If you make baits, you know what, what I'm talking about. So, they're still hot. Because I just shot some and it's like scalding hot here. I don't know where you're from, if you're watching, but South Carolina. Right now it's freaking hot, hot and humid. I think I'm getting older, I don't, I love the lake, I love summertime, but it's getting to where 95 and above, might have had enough of that crap. But again, driven, showed you the MF colorants that we used. And of course we spiked it with a little brown and a little, uh, like two drops of black, I think eight drops of brown, I think that's what I said. But that's the color we're using. That's the mold we shot. Again, the driven five inch. We've already shot it. I also shot the uh, little four and a half inch. And if you're here, I'll do a short probably. I'm gonna go outside and get a better video. It just shows the color better with natural light than it does with these lights here. I don't know why, but the natural sunlight just brings out the color so much better. So we're gonna open this one up and look at our little worms. Oh, still hot. Come on. Looking good, looking good. Let me pull these off of here. Ooh, still a little warm, still a little warm. Come on. Still warm. <laughs> 
pull a few of them off of here. Get this junk out of the way. And we probably one will be easier to show you on. And there's our five inch, a little fatter trick worm. And the red earthworm color from MF Colors. We're using Calhoun Plastisol because I love it. I love the durability of it, but the action is so much better. Again, I'm saying the other ones aren't great. We've talked about that before. I've got all of them. I've got big plastics. I've got dead on. But for me, I love Calhoun stuff. It's just, I mean, plastic. I don't know what the heck I'm saying half the time, but for me, for my fishing, I also have softener and hardener. I can make them softer or harder, but I do all my bass and crappie, crappy baits, whatever. I use two thirds medium and one third soft. I, that's the feel that I like, along with the uh, the action I still get out of them. Love them. Love the plastic. Uh, been good plastic for me. It lasts longer, which is a bonus for me and for people that buy from me. Now, I do have tournament guys where I have to make stuff. They want it super soft. They do not care if it throws off the hook when they're casting. I, I see no reason for that, but again, I'm not making a living fishing. So, I like to have my baits where they'll last for a while, where they're sturdy. And again, Two different styles we poured today. I didn't show you the first one just because I was trying to hurry up. And if you can see, whoop, come on, Blair. Ah, oh, come on. I just want you to see it. Now, five O's engraved in the bottom of my five inch worm. Uh, something that Driven offered. And I wanted it. So I got it and got my little company name in. Uh, this is how I, when I was talking about your injectors. This is a single injector, of course. That's your book that I didn't wind up using. But uh, that O ring there is very important. Always check your O ring, clean out behind it. If there's anything behind it, make sure your, your little cylinder there is on there good, screwed on. Always check those O-rings, man. Those O-rings are very important when you're sucking up your plastic. Some people pour it into the injector. I don't. I suck it up. I just like that better. Um, I always oil them. Spread the oil around real good. And then also, your O-ring on your tip. Very important, too. What will happen is you can get air coming in behind the o-ring mixing in with your plastic if your um your o-ring gets warm. so take care of your o-rings um and on your injectors trust me it saves you a, a boatload and you can buy those o-rings on amazon for i think i got a hundred of them for 10 bucks or something like that so Get the uh, heat, the ones that are best for heat. I don't remember the uh, name of them or the title, but it's like a 214, I think. No, I think I did it 214. For military guys, you know what I'm talking about. I think the O-ring size is also 214. I don't have any right here, but anyway. Those are what we made. I'll have a short as well with some natural light on these worms so you can actually see the color a whole lot better. You can see it's just there's a little sheen on there that is, just makes it so lifelike, so real. A little purplish, reddish look. Beautiful, girl. beautiful. Girl. While you're here, if you don't mind, man, like, subscribe for me. We'll do some more again tomorrow. Should be core shots, as long as the leg feels good and I can get around good. Um, we'll do those tomorrow. Maybe post a little video on that in a day or two and um, get back into making baits, man. It like I've been out for a month, so. I got a lot to get caught up on, but I appreciate you watching. Like and subscribe, guys. I'd appreciate it. Thank you so much, and let's go catch some fish. See you.